Do this with the Christmas tree trunk before placing it in the stand. The tree will stay fresh longer and won't shed needles. This trick was revealed to me by a forester. Use a pen to mark three crosses on the trunk. If the trunk is thicker, you can use more crosses. It's important that they are evenly spaced. Often, Christmas trees are cut a few weeks earlier, and you can see on the trunk that it has started to dry out slightly. You should trim two centimeters off the trunk. However, there is a better way to do it. Prepare a drill. It's important that the drill bit is thick. Lay the tree down. Drill holes in the previously marked spots. Each hole should be about four centimeters deep. Why drill these holes? After buying a tree, we often don't check the condition of the trunk. It's often slightly dried out already. Thanks to the drilled holes, the trunk will better absorb water. A regular household drill is sufficient. Place the prepared tree in the stand, and it's ready. It will look fresher for a longer time. Needles won't fall as quickly, and the branches will be firmer. Christmas tree stands have a function that most people forget about. That's why their trees quickly shed needles. They have screws to support the trunk. However, its interior plays an equally important role. It turns out to be airtight. The container where the trunk is placed also serves as a water reservoir. It should be filled before putting up the tree and topped up once a week so that the tree has a constant supply of water. Water is responsible for the firmness and freshness of the branches. Many people forget that there should be water in the stand. This causes the Christmas tree to quickly droop and shed needles. Do you use this feature of the stand? Insert coins into this place, and the tree will look beautiful. This grandma's trick will keep the tree fresh longer. Remember it on the day you bring the tree home. Before placing it in the stand, throw one item into it. It's about copper coins. Literally, a few pieces are enough. Copper destroys harmful bacteria, germs, microorganisms, pathogens, mold, fungi, and viruses. Such coins thrown into the water will keep its freshness longer. The likelihood of the tree trunk rotting will be lower. Let me know how much you paid for your tree this year. Write the city and the price in the comments. Cut off a few branches from your Christmas tree. You'll be shocked at what you can do with them. Take pruning shears and cut off a few small branches. Literally, a few are enough. They won't be noticeable on the tree, and it turns out they have a brilliant use at home. Cut the branches into smaller pieces with pruning shears. Prepare a large jar. It should be sterilized and clean. Place the branches in it. They should fill the entire jar. Then, prepare a liter of alcohol. Pour it over the needles. Close the jar and let it sit for two weeks. During this time, the mixture will change color. The vinegar will absorb the needles. Prepare a strainer and strain the liquid. Then, pour it into a spray bottle. Finally, add one branch for decoration. This solution is excellent for cleaning mirrors, bathrooms, and even floors. It leaves no streaks, disinfects, and smells beautiful. It has natural cleaning and stain-removing properties. It helps eliminate unpleasant odors. Beautiful Christmas decoration made from cups. It became a sensation on the internet, and kids love it. Prepare 500 white plastic cups, the regular disposable ones, and a stapler. With them, you can create a lovely snowman. Arrange the cups in a circle. Staple them together tightly so that they fit snugly against each other. Then arrange another layer on top of them. Staple the cups to the bottom layer and to the cup next to them. Repeat until you form a hemisphere. Repeat the process. When you have two similar hemispheres, connect them using the stapler. This will be the bottom of our snowman. Next, repeat the process, creating a smaller sphere. When it's ready, place one sphere on top of the other. Connect them using staples or hot glue. Make a cone from an orange sheet of paper. Cut out five circles from a black sheet. Attach white dots to two of them. Cut out a hat for the snowman from cardboard. 
take a red scarf and tie it at the junction of the two spheres. Insert a nose into one cup. Attach eyes and buttons using hot glue. Finally, put the hat on the snowman's head, and it's ready. Such a cute snowman will delight the eye throughout the Schrist Mace. Whether it's snowing outside or not, just add lights to make it beautifully decorate the room after dark. Kids love this decoration. It's adorable. This holiday centerpiece for the table costs only pennies. I paid only a few dollars for the materials I used. Making it is childishly simple. To prepare the centerpiece, you'll need a bowl, a round florist sponge for one dollar. Insert the florist sponge into the bowl. Pour water and let it soak. The spruce I used is from my garden. Cut the spruce into smaller pieces and stick them around the spongy. Make a circle. Then stick another layer anglid upwards. Leave space in the middle for the nutcracker figurine. To add some color, insert golden decorative branches. Next, complete the centerpiece with artificial rowan berries. Add a couple of pine cones and ornaments. Spread a thin string of lights over the whole arrangement. It will beautifully illuminate the entire composition. It will look gorgeous on the holiday table. It's hard to believe that making it was so cheap. You can use Christmas decorations from previous years to make such a centerpiece. Are you making Christmas decorations on your own? Show their photos in the comments under this video. A simple trick to create a festive fireplace. Kids love it, and it will neatly complement your living room when made this way. Prepare five cardboard boxes. Two boxes should be of the same size, serving as the sides of the fireplace. Use a flat cardboard as the base. Place two identical boxes on it. Insert a small box between them to serve as the firebox. Place another flat cardboard on top. This will be the fireplace mantle. Securely glue the cardboard pieces together using adhesive tape. All parts should be connected. Cover the fireplace with wallpaper. Cut each side from the wallpaper. I bought mine at a hardware store, opting for a self-adhesive white brick imitation on paper. Attach the first side of the fireplace. Smooth the veneer with your hand. Then, attach it to the front of the firebox, the base, and the sides. The wallpaper with a three-dimensional texture will effectively hide unevenness and mistakes. Use marble-patterned foil to cover the top part of the fireplace. Measure a piece of the appropriate size and stick it on. Trim the corners with scissors so that they can be folded flat. Then, attach a longitudinal piece to the front of the base. Line the firebox with black paper. Prepare a piece of cardboard with black construction paper and place it behind the Christmas tree. This will create the impression that the fireplace has a firebox and chimney. Take several sticks and tie them together with a rubber band or string to create a stack. Place it inside the fireplace. Next, prepare battery-powered LED candles. I chose two yellow ones and one red. Place them under the stack on the firebox. Finally, decorate the fireplace with Christmas ornaments. Hang a stocking for presents. This kind of fireplace looks beautiful, and kids love playing around it. It brings a festive atmosphere to your home at a minimal cost. What do you think? Would you place such a fireplace in your living room for Christmas?